Hey, we did it, Captain. We are a team of six first-year engineering students, and during his very first year, we worked on his project. Our goal was to create graphene-based supercapacitors with similar methods to those of Berkeley scientists who first discovered the material. But we wanted to do that with a more restricted budget to show that it was possible to bring the production of these supercapacitors to a larger scale. So we started up testing the way our CD burner worked precisely. Only then could we launch the real process of our lab scale production. We just had to put a sufficient layer of the original aqueous components, make it dry, and then get it to burn from graphite oxide to a rather good quality of graphene, with enough conductivity to friendly light LED. We finally built up the electronic components we wanted, we charged it, and then we had the expected result, energy stored in a small graphene-based supercapacitor. As of today, we are not fully satisfied with the product we obtain. Indeed, the small budget we had forced us to use the cheap equipment and a simple sea salt solution as an electrolyte. We would like to put it further in reducing the size of, of the final object and improving its fundamental characteristics. Energy is everywhere around us and the human needs will go on increasing in the next decades, especially in the field of mobility. Graphene and supercapacitors could well be the answer to these needs.